have had a long-standing fear that I call a flaw. I have a talk actually that's called Flip Your Flaws. And I was really lucky to have Talman work with me through my flaw and through my fear of public speaking, which was ironically for me to deliver this talk called Flip Your Flaws. You see, I wanted to get up there and really rock with full authenticity, authenticity what my message is for Flip Your Flaws, which is coming out of hiding, exposing yourself and all of your vulnerabilities, and really just being open to being in the present moment. Now, when I first came up with the talk and with the possibility of presenting it, it made me go into a lot of internal fear because I knew in my highest self that I would be able to show up and um, articulate my message and really emotionally connect with people if I was able to stay connected to my core and to my true essence. But because I've had such a long-standing fear of public speaking, I started having all these really scary emotions and anxiety and apprehension that was coming up for me about a month before I started my talk in New York City. This talk in New York City was a really, really big deal for me because I was sharing the stage with many and countless already best-selling authors, multi-multi-million dollar business owners, and also some billionaires in the room, and including um, names of, of famous people that I'm sure that you would know if I mentioned them right now. Um, I was going through a lot of comparison with myself that, you know, I'm going to, they're much better than I am. Why am I going to show up and make a fool out of myself? What if I totally fail? I should be doing this talk someplace else um, before I go in and present to this group of such highly skilled experts. You know, this could potentially ruin the um, good credibility and reputation that I have in my industry if I show up and fail. I mean, there were a lot of very uh, destructive voices going on for me, including just flat out the feeling like I was going to black out and forget everything that I was saying. I wasn't going to be able to use the clicker properly for the keynote speech that I was going to be really shaky, I was going to turn bright red, I was just going to lose my train of thought entirely and be really, really embarrassed. I want to tell you that that is not how the story unfolded for me, which is, of course, the reason why I am sharing <laughs> this testimonial and recommendation for working with Talman. From the very beginning, he was extremely present with me. Um, I was able to communicate to him with, without any embarrassment or shame, you know, all of the apprehensions and fears that I was going through before this talk. He led me through just some very simple um, practices and exercises that I could do for myself on a conscious level. And then he also sent me a very powerful and extremely effective um, audio hypnosis MP3 that I listened to every single day um, before I went to bed, and I also listened to on various other occasions when I was um, on the plane, you know, traveling to different places, when I was doing my meditation process and just had, you know, a, like a half an hour where I could just kind of sit and daydream and, and visualize. And, you know, I'm quite convinced that it was through this hypnosis and obviously through the massive action that I took also on my own that I was able to flip my flaw and flip my fear of public speaking. The New York presentation was absolutely incredible. I totally conquered my fear of public speaking. And that actually sounds kind of funny for me to say right now because it wasn't even like I was going in and fighting. Like I, I had to keep it down. I was fighting. I was conquering. I was so connected to myself and to my message and to my material that I was not completely nervous and anxious, you know, for the day prior to my talk. I was able to be in the room with all the other experts and very deeply connect with people without you know, my fear and worry just, just cutting me off and leaving me disassociated, I was really able to engage 
when I walked up, you know, to go onto the stage to give my talk, I felt a sense of calm and also power, just a, just a very confident power. I got up and before you know it, it was literally like that. My time slot had gone by. Um, you know, I, I looked up, I saw that I was still within um, my proper time frame for the talk. I was looking down and so many people were smiling at me. I got a standing ovation actually from a portion of the audience, which made me feel really, really good. And, it, you know, I, I can't even begin to tell you exactly what a transformation this has been in my life. And, you know, it's, it's the start of me really pursuing um, public speaking and sharing my story and sharing my message with so many more people now that I don't have um, just the internal dialogue telling me that, that I can't do it. You know, I, I've already gone now to probably one of the biggest stages um, with some of the biggest names that I will ever speak with. And I'm very assured that if I can show up and if I could have done that, then I can do anything, you know, in the future. And also, you know, I'm in more acceptance now that I can be nervous and that it's not going to completely take over me and make me just like disconnect and forget about everything. I've really been able to find a way to stay in the harmony and, you know, stay in my flow and really stay connected even while I'm going through a breakthrough. So thank you so much, Telman. And if you get the chance or the opportunity um, to ever uh, practice hypnosis with him, I highly, highly suggest that you do so that you also can flip your flaw and your biggest fear into one of your most unique abilities and strengths. Thank you.